Hi there, Steve Bedder from Autodesk in the UK again with a quick Autodesk Inventor tip. Now this tip is all about sectioning and creating section views. So we've got this valve here that you can see and um, we can see that we've done quite a good job of modelling this up. Um, but let's just have a quick look at what's going on internally. So we're using the, the section tool inside of the, uh, the modelling environment. We dynamically drag that section through so we can see at different section depths. And don't forget that we can accept the um, the section depth and we can actually work on it whilst it is sectioned as well. But what we actually want to do here is we want to create a 2D drawing of this for uh, the guys down in manufacturing so they can actually see again exactly what's going on with this valve. So we're going to open up the drawing. There we go, let's just find that drawing. There we go. And we can see that we've already created some views and uh, we want to create a section view of this but the only space we've really got for this is over on the right hand side of our uh, of our view that we're sectioning and as we drag this to the top or bottom you can see that actually we're aligned if I just hold down the control key now it actually breaks that alignment so I can place that section view anywhere that I want on that sheet just to repeat, I'm doing that just by holding down the control key whilst placing the actual section view. Now you'll notice that the actual section view itself now isn't aligned to anything. So just by right mouse clicking over the section view and using the alignment tool, we can set the horizontal alignment. So now when we, use, when we move that plan view, the section view stays aligned with it. Another Autodesk Inventor quick tip.